Hi, my name is Joe. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use the fiber optic cable to connect IP camera to a network video recorder. First, let's see what we have. This is the network video recorder, and we got the router. The network real video recorder is connecting to the router by using this TFIE internet cable. And this is the IP camera we are going to work with today. First, let's check the connector. You can see the camera has the power, also the RJ45 network and audio input. This is the pre-made fiber optic cable. You can see we cannot attach the fiber optic cable to the RJ45 network port directory. It's not going to work. The size is different, but technically they're using different source to transmit the signal. The fiber optic cable just use the line to send and receive the signal. And for the KFIE cases, it's the electronic signal. So in this case, we need to have this media converter. The primary purpose for the media converter just convert the electronic signal to fiber optic signal or the other, the other way around. And we need both, one for each of the size. So in this case, we can use the fiber optic cable. You can see this is SAP slot, it's empty. The reason is because we still need to have this SAP transceiver. The SAP transceiver will determine what kind of cable and the connector we can use. So we also need two SFP transceiver, each for one. Okay, now the last thing is about the cable, right? And the fiber optic cable, it doesn't, this is the pre made fiber optic cable. With this pre made fiber optic cable, we don't need to build a connector in the field. The connector is being made in the factory. Unlike this KFI or CAT6 Ethernet cable, it's quite easy to create the RJ45 connector. For the fiber optic cable, we need to have special tools like the fusion tool and other equipment to build the connector. Basically, we need to cut off the fiber optic cable and join with another punch code by using the fusion tool. With this fiber optic cable, everything's ready, simply just plug and play. And there's different kinds of fiber optic cable like the single mode, multi mode, also different kind of connector like the LC, SC, ST. So how to pick the fiber optic cable? Actually, it's determined by this SAP transceiver. After you choose the SAP transceiver, you know what kind of fiber optic cable you can use and what kind of connector you can use. This SAP transceiver accepts the LC, also single mode, BIDI. What does the BIDI mean? You can see there's only one port of the fiber optic cable for each of these SAP transceiver, which means we only need one code to transmit and receive the data. The BIDI transceiver uses a different wavelength to transmit and receive the data. So with these two fiber optic cables, actually we can have two independent links. You also can use one link for working and another for backup or future upgrade. Okay, now let's just put everything together and connect this camera to the recorder. Let me power up the first media converter. Okay, I also need to install this SAP transceiver. Just insert the SAP transceiver to this SAP slot. So the first media converter is ready. And I'm going to use this short punch code to link this media converter to the router. So we can get the data from the router. Okay, in this case, I can use the A or B, one of the fiber optic code to connect to the SAP transceiver. I just use A, so at the other end, I also need to use A, otherwise we're using different code for each of these SAP media converter, it's not going to work. Okay, now let's move to the camera. First, let me power up the camera. And I also need to power up this media converter. From here, I'm going to use another short punch code to link the media converter to the camera. Okay, the last thing is install the SAP transceiver. Okay, we got the cable from the 8. Let me connect to the media converter. It will take a while before we can see the live video on the monitor. I think the camera's live now. You can see the video on the monitor. It's quite simple. There are no need to have the fusion, simply plug and play. But you need to have the media converter plus the SAP transceiver, also the fiber optic cable and some short punch code. But there are two things here. You can see for the PoE, we can use the 
KFIE can say send both power and data to the camera. But with the fiber optic cable, there's no way we can send the power together with, through this fiber optic cable. Because technically, the fiber optic cable is just plastic. It's the light travels through this cable. You cannot inject the power through the light. But you can reference my another video how to use the PoE power with the fiber optic cable. The second thing is actually the bandwidth for fiber optic cable, we can in this case, it's about one gig. It can handle up to 100 camera, IP camera. It's a little bit waste, right? In this case, we can use the outdoor PoE switch. This is the outdoor PoE switch. The media converter has been built in, which means with the SIP transceiver, we can connect the fiber optic cable directly to this switch. And from this switch, we got up to a PoE port, which means we can connect a IP camera around this switch and send all the data through this fiber optic cable back to the NVR. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.